Avi Myers, Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine. Marty has moved, so be very careful if you're going to the old place. In any event, uh, it is judicial season. And, you know, some people don't get how we do things on the show. And just to give you an idea, I almost never talk to people in advance about what we're talking about. We just kind of let it happen. But the idea behind the show is that most of these, th most people get 15 or 30 second sound bites. Very rarely do you actually get a chance to find out what somebody's really like or what their personality really is. And that's what we try to present to people. So, you know, we, we always tell people, be yourself. And uh, most of the people, you know, we, we try to check a little bit in advance and find if they're likable. As a matter of fact, my last guest, who I, I actually did endorse in Jewish Chicago the last time he ran for office, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, because usually people, somebody needs to bring you to the dance, you know, to get on the show. So, you know, but, but feel free to contact me. If I'm not mistaken, it was Judge Michael Hyman. Yes. Who recommended you last time and one of my absolute favorite judges. And I am talking about Judge Jesse G. Reyes. Is yes. that right, the middle initial? Right. Wow, yes. I remember that. How are you doing? You. Very well, very well. Thank you. And thank you for having me on the show. My pleasure. Thank you. And um, so presently you are a circuit court judge? Yes, I'm a circuit court judge sitting in the uh, Chancery Division hearing mortgage foreclosures and mechanics lien. And I was recently uh, endorsed by the Cook County Democratic Party to run for the Illinois uh, Appellate Court. And one of the things that I'm proud of the fact is that uh, on the appellate slate, uh, it actually happens to be one of the most diverse slates that the party has put together in terms of having uh, Justice Nathaniel House, Justice Scott Neville, uh, Terry Lavin, Maureen Connors, and myself. Wow, that is pretty diverse. And as a matter of fact, um, most of those are already scheduled to be on the show or happen on the show. Well, it's great. It's great. It's good. <laughs> so very good. So tell us a little bit about the... Now, it's important enough. I mean, getting to... You know, if you're a lawyer, that's pretty good in the first place. doesn't mean you make a living. If you were a judge, you, you probably graduated to the major leagues at that standpoint. But the appellate court is a notch above that. Right, it is. And it's, uh, it's, I'm honored to be able to have the opportunity to run for the appellate court. Uh, the appellate court uh, happens to be the safety net um, before you get to the Supreme Court in terms of cases, in terms of how they're resolved and how um, issues and the matters are, are resolved as well. And, yeah, that's definitely... Uh, so, you know, if, if injustice happens or if somebody perceives there to be an injustice... Right. They get the opportunity to go uh, in front of the appellate court. They get an opportunity to uh, have their case heard a second time around. And at that point in time, the justice will determine whether there was an error at, at the trial level. And sometimes it could be a procedure error. It could be an evidentiary error. Uh, it could be a matter in terms of uh, some um, uh, testimony. Um, so the appellate court will take a look at it and, for example, uh, they get the record and then they'll view the record and then they'll determine whether or not they're going to have oral arguments. And if they have oral arguments, then it gives the attorneys another opportunity to present their case before court. And um, this isn't just one judge sitting, is it? No. It's a panel of three, uh, but actually the, the, the way it's, it's broken down in the first uh, uh, district, there's, there's four justices, but when they sit to hear arguments, it's, it's a panel of three. And then, of course, you know, two out of three makes the majority, and then the majority will write an opinion. Uh, if there's a dissent, then the dissenting uh, justice will write a, a dissent on the uh, on the case. Now, when you say District 1, what's the area you're, uh, what is the area? Countywide. It's Cook County. So I'll be running countywide because the uh, district that I'm running for is, is actually Cook County. So it, it's a countywide election, so anyone who's a registered voter uh, can uh, vote uh, for the candidates running for the appellate court. Very good. Now, how many petitions is it you need to get? The minimum is uh, 3,700 petitions have to be filed in order to get your name on the ballot. So that's a lot of work, but you can't just file 3,700. No, you have to make sure at least you get uh, three times that amount to uh, ensure that um, all the signatures on there are, are accurate and, and currently registered uh, with the uh, Board of Elections. Um, sometimes people think that they're registered in their address or um, they forgot to uh, re-register. Uh, and, uh, you know, inadvertently they'll sign a petition and then unfortunately that person will get knocked off of the uh, petition. Yeah, and uh, that could also get you knocked off the ballot. In, in right. <laughs> and that, that's not a good thing. You know what, I, I really didn't ask you, I should have done this in the beginning, but, you know, why don't you give us something about your background? Sure. I am a product of the city of Chicago. I grew up in the south side of Chicago. I went to St. Procopius uh, High School uh, on 18th and Allport and then attended uh, Kelly High School, and then from Kelly High School I went to the University of Illinois at Chicago, and the, uh, then I went to John Marshall Law School. 
Uh, and I come from a blue collar family. I had to work my way through school, uh, pay for my education as I proceeded through uh, uh, college and, and, and uh, law school. Uh, but I've, I've enjoyed uh, the experience of being a practicing lawyer. I practiced for a number of years with the Corporation Counsel Office and the Board of Education, trying cases both uh, in state court and federal court, uh, jury trials, uh, tried uh, cases in Chancery Court as well. And then I got the opportunity to go on the court as an associate judge, and I served as an associate judge for 10 years. And then um, the opportunity came along for me to be able to run full, full circuit and get elected by the electorate. Uh, and now I'm running for the appellate court. And one of the other things that I'm, I'm proud of is the fact that every time that I've um, sat, whether as an associate judge, a full circuit judge, and now you know, running for the appellate court, I have been found qualified or recommended every single time by the bar associations. No, that's true, and I've checked those ratings. And as a matter of fact, I am very strict about who I... Well, you were endorsed the last time you ran for office. Yes. And, uh, yeah, if somebody's not qualified, unlike some of my colleagues, hint, hint, um, I won't endorse them. <laughs> and some, some of those people are going to have the same tr trouble this time around, but uh, you, you guys know who you are. Um, but no, and, and um, it's, it's a pretty rigorous screening process. And by the way, for those people watching, I, I tend to favor the Chicago Bar Association's ratings. I think that um, they're probably as strict as anybody along those lines. And it um, doesn't mean the other ones aren't important, but they, they do vary. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So, um, you know, actually, if I'm not mistaken, the other nine or ten bar associations, there's actually just one meeting and they have their representatives there. Is that how it works? The uh, bar associations all gather together. They call you in for an interview and then the majority of them will be there or sometimes, on, um, in my case, they were all there, which was great. Uh, and they, they interview you and they ask you about you know, your background, your experience, uh, your current assignment. For example, on my assignment, we do a lot of writing. Uh, we have a lot of issues with regards to foreclosures, very complex issues, not only with regards to the residential foreclosures, but also the commercial foreclosures. So we do a lot of writing, a lot of reading, uh, which is our prerequisites for the appellate court. Uh, and I've been uh, pretty fortunate that I've had a number of cases that have gone up uh, on appeal and uh, I have never been reversed. Wow. Uh, in fact, I've had a case that went up to uh, the Supreme Court uh, and uh, I was also affirmed uh, by the Illinois Supreme Court as well. So I, I, um, I'm, a, I'm a student of the law. I love studying the law and I love writing and, and reading. Very cool. And uh, I got to think you're really busy, unfortunately, with foreclosures. Uh, yes, we are. Uh, the numbers keep uh, going up, unfortunately, both on the residential and on the commercial side. Uh, I don't know, you know when uh, it's going to curtail, but we're, we're, per we're pretty busy. So we have uh, very busy uh, calls both in the morning and the afternoon. For example, my call in the morning consists of the contested matters. So if someone comes in on a motion to dismiss, a motion for summary judgment, a motion for appointment of a receiver, I'll hear that in the morning. And then in the afternoon, we have what's known as the default call, where if someone did not file an appearance and answer, then we'll, we'll hear that matter. In the afternoon, I'll have up to maybe 75 cases wow. on, on the default call. And in the morning, on contested issues uh, with the lawyers and sometimes pro se litigants, I'll have as many as maybe about 30 cases that I'll hear in the morning. So we're pretty busy. That's busy. That is incredibly busy. There's no question about it. Um, do you have a website? Uh, well, we have an email address, which is elect uh, Jesse G. Reyes at uh, gmail.com. Elect Jesse G. Reyes, Reyes. which is R E Y E S. Right. <laughs> yes. Thank you. At gmail.com. Right. And um, first of all, I want to thank you very much for being here. And, um, oh, you know what? I, I, I'll give you the benefit. You were wishing it to me before the show, but, you know, you wish me a happy Hanukkah. So yes. I'll wish you back the same and all the best holidays and all the rest of it. Thank you. I know uh, Hanukkah starts on the 20th of December, so I want to wish all of your viewers a uh, happy Hanukkah. No, that's great, and they appreciate it. And, of course, by the way, uh, besides... Besides for the fact that he was has been endorsed by Jewish Chicago, it was Judge Michael Hyman the, during the last election who, who referred you in the first place. So I want to thank you very much. Thank you. Judge Reyes, and um, good luck. Thank you very much.